Hello, and welcome to Notes of Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 29, Getting URL Parameters. OMG, this show is about URL. Okay, first, a uh, quick disclaimer. Um, I am running the beta software, and that doesn't mean that anything you see here is going to actually make it to the final product, but if it doesn't, uh, I might jump out a window. Uh, well, probably not, but I would at least be rather disappointed. Uh, but the good news is I'm not actually using... Um, any beta software for this show, so uh, it should work in 852, 851. Um, okay, uh, I don't really have any slides uh, today uh, because I'm uh, too busy, uh, so we're going to go right to a demo. Okay, so today I want to go back to um, uh, xpagescheatsheet.com and kind of expand on an example we already have. And let's, let's look at the actual cheat sheet itself. And there's a technique on here called export to Excel which uh, I is, this is a slightly modified version from Chris Tui at uh, dominoguru.com and I believe and this is what we, we call an X agent basically it's a non-rendered page um, where you're just sending everything that goes back to the browser um, doesn't really get rendered it's 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 kind of sent through this this response writer uh, the business here and I can't explain it other than I know how it works um, and this this X agent can I guess live in the after render response which is what I've been using uh, it can also be I'm told uh, by Nathan Freeman in the before rendered response and and he highly recommends that uh, as eloquently as he has been known to recommend things um, or subtly I should say uh, because I guess it's a little faster uh, but I've never actually tried it in the before render response, and, and you do have to change the code a little bit because I think you have to deal with a stream uh, rather than a response writer. But that's neither here nor there. Um, it does work in the after render response, so we're going to just go with what we know. Um, so what I want to do is export to Excel, but I want to combine it with get URL parameters. So I want to actually um, make the export to Excel kind of like variable by by accepting a parameter, importing that into the code, and then uh, treating the Excel file uh, based on what that parameter is. So in, in the example I'm going to show here is a state. So I've got a, a fake names database. Uh, actually, let's just click this off now because takes a second. Um, that probably has too many records. It's got about 50,000 records, which uh, a smaller version is available for download right here. Um, and right now, by clicking on Excel filtered, it's going to export the entire spreadsheet from this um, view. And I believe it's a categorized view of just by state. And what we want to do then is not only be able to export all of the records, but then be able to pass in a URL, read the URL into the code, and then act accordingly. So just to prove that it does work, here is the initial spreadsheet load, which has every record in. There we go. And yep, we've got about 50,000 people who do not exist. So if I go to Excel filtered and, and I didn't really create a UI for this, so I'm just actually going to do kind of manually, um, is filter equals PA for Pennsylvania, uh, which is where I live because well, someone's got to live here. Uh, you notice that's a lot quicker, and it's a lot quicker because it only has PA people in it. And uh, again, none of these are real either. So well, how does that work? Let's kind of look at this. So this is my page where I do that and if I expand this code I'm creating a variable called filter and I'm using this this technique now this is on the cheat sheet param dot filter so so it's you know question mark you know the parameter equals and then the value and you can separate those with with commas and you can get any parameter from your URL and what I'm doing here with this kind of technique with this little you know horizontal line whatever they're called twice is this I believe this is like called an or so I get this filter or it's gonna be blank so if this parameter is not there it's blank so then I don't really have to test for null is at least my thinking if I'm wrong please let me know but my thought is oh, I don't have to like test for null or kinda of dirty up my code so it's it's definitely gonna be a space or a blank whether it exists or not 
So then I come down in here, and this is you know pretty standard code. It, it really does look very Lotus scripty, uh, except for, for for these three lines. Um, but but you know I get a view, I create a view, I get a view of my view, which is by state. Um, we're gonna create a notes view navigator, um, and then we're gonna basically say if filter equals this, and I'm just gonna say get all entries, and if it's if we do have something in filter, then I'm going to say get all entries by key, filter, and both of these come back to a view entry collection. Okay, well now if you can do this in Lotus Script, you know, I mean, the, the logic is the same. So I create a, a notes view entry, um, and I set, assign it to the first entry. Uh, this is where you kind of like start setting up the Excel document, the cache control and stuff. And then you kind of make, basically make it an HTML table for Excel to read in. Now, I believe there is a problem where like some new versions of Excel doesn't like that, uh, depending on how you do this. Um, it throws a security warning because it expects an, uh, an Excel file and, and um, you're really actually passing like an XML file like this. Uh, someone reported that. I've not actually seen it or kind of played with it. So if you know that. Uh, post in, in the blog, please. Um, but then we just loop through, you know, the view entries till they're null, and th that's that. Um, I, I did I did do something a little different here. I did a get document uh, for this particular row because I didn't remember if it was in the view or not. Um, so this is just showing two different ways to to access it. Whether you want to do get column values or you could actually reach into the document to get something that was not in the view. Um, so you have that, and then you know you close your table, and and then you're done. So it's, it's there's not much to it. And that's a demo. I, I hope you liked that, and hope that was educational. Um, if you need my contact information, here it is, and I do thank you for your time.